So, Lord Barker, your new book, um, Leadership for Dummies, um, quite an absurd book. Um, it's, it's received some really hard criticism. Um, I'm sure you're quite offended by it. But um, it ranges from trash to absurd ideas of an inbred, pompous drunk. How do you handle that? Well, actually, I, I don't think um, I don't think they're such absurd ideas at all. I mean, when one looks at international politics and local politics and national politics, leaders seem to be like sort of created in some sort of laboratory. There's some sort of gang of mutants, highly educated mutants. You know, I mean, leaders should be quite extraordinary people. I think, I think really. And um, when one looks at the uh, leadership we have now, they are. Well, they're basically bloody lawyers, aren't they? Um, it's, uh, and lawyers, as we all know, uh, they've, they've been trained to turn the truth into lies and the, and the lies into truth. You know, it's as simple as that. So being a politician leading a country with that sort of skill is not necessarily cricket, I don't think. You know? Can you imagine the view of the future for a lawyer? I mean, they're not exactly very creative people. They're, just like fighting, you know, they know how to fight and they, they, they know how to work the law and that's exactly what they do. That's like I said to the Dalai Lama the other day down at the gym, um, you know, if, if you're going to have a fight then somebody's got to lose and if, you, if, if you're going to talk then someone's got to listen and if they don't listen then you beat the shit out of them. I mean it's quite simple really, as in my view. Um, like Tony Blair for example, look what he did with the Iraq thing, he twisted it so much that he actually believed it himself. And, and, Tony Blair, that's another bloody story. Have you met him? Yes, I have. God, what a dickhead, isn't he? Mm. Yes, anyway. So that's one of the problems with, with leaders. I mean, they are highly educated. They seem to be from a very select class of, of, the, of the human culture. And uh, so it's more a case of not what you know, it's more who you know. And, and well, the result is where we are right now. I think it speaks for itself, really. Um, you see, the problem with education is that it's basically the whole of education is based on history. I mean, when when one learns in an education, one doesn't necessarily learn how to uh, how to learn, if you like, um, they develop the skills to actually take in information. You're just basically learning facts, generally speaking, and those facts tend to um, be obviously, in history, and history, given that it's led us to where we are right now, is not necessarily a, a very good example, I don't, I, 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 I don't think. Um, and, and also the trouble with history is you only hear about the bad bits, you know, it's all about fighting. I mean, any, anything in history that are worth a mention, it seems, are wars and conflict and uh, victories and things like that. And, you know, one sort of fails to realise that the British, the British the nation of Britain um, survived quite quite a long time under successful monarchies, and uh, we only, of course, hear about the bad ones and, because they make news. In fact, there's no such thing as good news, which is unfortunate, <laughs> I think. I mean, what we need, I think, in, in, as leaders, are uh, more creative people, maybe more stupid people, like artists, for example. You know, they 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 have um, they have a curious mind, some more curious than others, and. Unfortunately, artists, even artists, have become so diluted now. There's so many of the fucking things, you know. Ever since they started teaching art in university, oh, I've got a degree in art. I can't fucking appreciate life. I can't actually manage my life. But I'm a, I've got a, I've got a degree and master's degree in art. What the fuck does that mean? What use is that? You know, it's just absolutely ridiculous. But if we are, one can pull out of, out of, out of. Um, the pool that we have, certain creative people like artists, then maybe they would um, be more interesting to run a country. Whether they get round to doing it or not, they probably just sit around and talk about it all day. That's what artists do. But God, we've got to do bloody something. We can't carry on the way we are, can we? Jesus Christ. We could have philosophers, if you like, you know, and then we can start debating things, you know, and sort of and have philosophers as leaders. That'd be quite interesting. And, uh, you know, you could sort of have debates then on. on uh, like, you know, what do you, think, um, what do you think of the theory of capitalism which depends on infinite growth by definition in a finite environment which cannot work? What do you think of that? A philosopher would probably disappear for a few weeks and come back with a 
fucking great pile of paper with, with, with what he thinks about it, which then it's too late because... But then you'd have to have somebody else running the country, I suppose. I'm thinking out loud here. And another thing, but then, again, who the fuck am I? I mean, I'm, I'm a highly educated twit as well. I mean, I mean, I sit in the House of Lords, for God's sake. I can change countries. I can, I can block decisions that can save the world. And yet you can barely trust me to sit the right way on a toilet, especially when I'm drunk, which is very often, I can assure you. One has to do something in this bloody ridiculous world. But you are quite privileged. Yes, I am privileged, but I sometimes wonder what the fuck I do with it, you know. Is it a privilege when I look at some people then um, with nothing? They, they have a genuine smile on my face. To put a smile on my face, well, one has to probably coax me with some sort of drug or, or something, or some devious activity that would sort of divert me from this horribly boring, dull reality that I have. You still have money? I don't have any money anymore. It's, it's, it's all bloody gone, thank God. I just now live on on being paid to be a dickhead, actually, by the by you taxpayers, so thank you. And um, I mean, we've got to we've got to look to the future, not keep on dwelling on the past and drawing the drawing the past as some sort of reference point of what of what we should do, I mean, history tells us, you know, I mean, what the fuck does that mean? If, if history was right, we wouldn't be where we are right now and asking these huge questions that we are asking. I mean, it's like, it's like, it's like this whole bloody Euro thing, you know, now Germany, Angela Merkel, what a dick she is. She, the other day she said that Portugal, Portugal has to change its work ethic. I mean, my God, that woman needs a damn good slapping. How on earth can you do that? How can you change the work ethic of a country? Why even say that? I mean, I mean, Angela, can you please listen? Just listen, please. All, all of the countries that you seem to be against, like Greece, uh, Italy, Portugal, and you want to change their work ethic, just please think about it. Flau. They're in the south of Europe. The sun is shining. The last thing they want to do is make Volkswagen. I'm sorry, but that is reality. No, it's, I mean, it's like, let's face it, Germany is not exactly a tourist destination, is it? Think about it. Angela. No, no, I mean, this, this is it. Now she is a leader. She's a leader of one of the most, one of the wealthiest countries on earth. And, and, and for her to say something like that really indicates to me that there is something terribly, terribly wrong with the quality of leadership that we have now and, and, that, and that's what that's what this whole debate is about we need stupid down-to-earth people that's what we need we, we need people that will be creative we need people that will think about the future think about the future mind you i suppose angela merkel can't really think about the past can she really no no good point mm. yes um you have you have in Germany, you have shit weather. There's nothing else to do but make bloody Volkswagens. That's why you are, are who you are. I mean, that's when you look at your history, that's why you behave like that. It's all about the weather. Oh, my God. I mean, bloody obvious. And, you know, when you actually look at it, most of the world, most of the dangerous world, is run by men. You know, maybe we should concentrate a little bit more on finding good women leaders. I mean, their women are excellent. They, I mean, they're, 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 it's amazing what they can do when they really focus. And, you know, it's, if, if you can find the right woman who can somehow draw a balance with intelligence and um, good looks, I mean, that's quite important. There's no point in, you know, talking to the arse end of a dog, is it, really? You know, can one, one can't really sort of have a sensible conversation with an ugly woman like Angela Merkel. I mean, that would be impossible. You know, you know you've got... Um, Ségolène Royal of France. I mean, yes, I, 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 I would do, do some negotiating with her, if you know what I mean. But um, I think if we can find women who, whose nurturing qualities can be of great benefit to the world, then um, and I think we could be on the way to finding a solution to this ridiculous problem we find ourselves in. And, um, well, the trouble is, though, we'd have to have two. Yeah, two women, because they, they also, if you get them before a certain age, they do have this sort of menstrual cycle thing going on where, you know, it's like, it's like, you know, it's quite impossible to live with sometimes. You imagine it, you know, like a, 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 a pre-menstrual world leader. <laughs> imagine it. Oh, God, it'd be so difficult. But so we would have to have two. One, 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 just one having their periods and one 
had their periods, or maybe you need three, one before, one having, and one after. That's three, that leaves, mm, no, then there's the one good week. Hmm, that could be interesting. Actually, women's menstrual cycles do synchronize when women congregate for a certain amount of time. Mm. Oh, really? Well, that's a bloody stupid idea then, isn't it? Oh, well, um, maybe women aren't such a good idea. Oh, well, I'd like it. Let's get back to artists then. I mean, maybe that's what we need. Mm.